Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borgen. This is going to be the next video on the IIHF Worlds. It's going to be on Team Norway, as after having a bad first game, just like Kazakhstan, they bounce back and have a very good second game. But unlike Kazakhstan, they win that second game in a very good game. As Norway did win it, though, in a very odd fashion, as uh, Klovstad threw it off the boards and was able to get that past the goaltender there. Obviously, I would think Ben Bounds kind of wants that one back as that one was thrown in off the boards and they were able to score on the keeper there. Um, Henry Hogland was in net for Norway, but um, Klavstead, Andres Klavstead was able to score. Uh, Mathis Olam was able to score battling in front, kind of knocking it out of the air. Originally, it was called no goal, and then it was reviewed and called a goal. And then Olam also blasted one through from the point as the captain was able to have a absolutely bonkers game for Norway to put them up 3 nothing at the time of when it looked like Hoagland and his team were going to be cruising in this game. But then Robert Dowd had a backhander. He had no chance to save. Perlini was set up after Evan Mosey um, had the very good wraparound and then was able to get it in front of Perlini. And then Mark Richardson scored on the nice pass by Brett Perlini. Yeah, so Perlini was able to score and have the nice pass for the tying goals. He's definitely a star of the game for Great Britain. That I'll talk about more when I do their video. But when it comes to the stars of the game, in this game, obviously, Matthias Olam has to be one of the stars as he was able to have two of the goals for Norway. And then um, when it comes to oh, or when it comes to the shootout, uh, I should say, you were able to have the final save, which was on... Cade Nielsen um, by Henrik Hoagland as he was able to score on that one as Haga was able to have a very good move to score on Ben Bounds um, and Scott Conway was able to have a good move to score on Henry Hoagland but Matthias Trent Trentons I think is how you say his name was able to score on Ben Bounds as well as they were able to win that shootout two to one as uh, Henry Hoagland was able to step up making the last save on Nielsen. This was a great overall game. It looked like Norway was going to be running away with it up 3-0. Just had the D up and close it out. But then Great Brennan battled back and had a very good game of their own as they were able to almost come tight in this one as they basically did exactly what Kazakhstan did. Had a bad first game against Chechnya and then battled back and had a good game in the second game but just weren't able to get over the hump after playing a good game over all Great Britain was after they were able to wake up and get going. But it, you have to give credit where credit is due. Norway deserved this win. They were up 3-0. They did allow the lead to just damper away and allow um, Great Britain to come back, but then they stuck with it and were much better in the shootout, and Hoagland was the better goaltender in the shootout, and that put Norway over the top as they are now 1-1 one one in the IIHFs after two games. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please do subscribe down below or up above with the easy to use widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.